Flight Boss, bitch. And you know, here's the first episode to the uh, quote unquote ghetto astrology, you know, for show. And you know, here's the presenter, you know what I'm saying, the uh, master of the ceremony, Dola the pilot man. And when Flight Boss take that journey through the sky, he come back and translate the information the best way he possibly can. You feel me? You know. So look. The first episode right now, we're going to talk about the houses, you know what I'm saying? And um, when we're talking about the houses, right? The houses is um, is 12 houses, same way as 12 zodiac signs. So the houses is kind of um, representations of the constellation's energy. So do not equate the houses with the actual zodiac signs being acted out through people through through people's sun signs and and moon signs and this is the houses is the energy that the actual constellation equates to when when that energy get played out it gets played out through people so do not mistake the same in, do not mistake the same thing it's like the it's the different qualities same energy so the houses is based on the constellations dealing with the evolution of mankind. And the motherfucking, um, and then the constellations itself get played out through people. So do not mistake it. When I talk about the first house, which the first house is Aries, do not mistake these qualities with being the same as an Aries person. But what you can, what you can do is understand that it equates through the same energy, but the houses is the energy that equates through mankind and the, uh and, and then the constellations of the energy acted out through people is is totally different all right so now let's get to it okay it's the alpha omega aries is the alpha pisces is the omega so it's 12 houses so the first house starts with aries and then um they all in an aspect within each other which so it's like the first house looks at the seventh house which was which would be the complete opposite sign from whatever sign is it from the, which is Libra this is Aries so Aries look at Libra and uh, these are cardinal signs uh, Aries is a fire sign Libra is an air sign and then uh, uh, the fourth house looks at the tenth house and the fourth and uh, fourth house which is the Cancer house which is a water sign tenth house which is a Capricorn house which is the um, um, the, the tenth house was the Capricorn house, so which is the Earth sign, and um, y'all can keep going down like that. Okay, but before we get into that, that's a whole nother video. Let's start off with the energies of the houses. Okay, the first house, Aries. Okay, since we talk about it as in houses, the analogy I'm gonna use for this is um, we're building a house. So by the end of the constellation, this should be all the knowledge we had in the meantime of building a house. Okay, first house. Represent the first house is Aries. So this is the self. So look at it like you're here now. Like you can, you don't know where you came from, but say you just came from somewhere off a boat, you got on land, and you're here now. So now I am. I am here. What's next? The second house. So the first house is the house of thyself. The house. The house of um, you know what I'm saying. That's why this makes up a lot of people's uh physical attributes and you know what I'm saying rising signs uh, where your soul where the uh, eastern eastern um, where the sun was arising from the east that's your rising sign so but this is the first house as in the houses we're gonna get into all that so Aries is the first house so this is I'm here I'm here now I am the I am the thyself so um now the the initiator so now we go into the second house the second house is the Taurus house okay I have <clears throat> so this is you being here now and you seeing a bunch of wood you see a bunch of wood everywhere you know what I'm saying okay boom I have Taurus so <clears throat> that's the first <clears throat> and it's an earth sign so that's the first <clears throat> gratification a stability of uh, and then the representation of the earth you see a bunch of wood now I have you know what I'm saying? So Taurus is the I have, the uh, the uh, personal possessions, the things that you see, uh, the, how you obtain, the, the things that's, the, that's in your immediate sphere of reality. I have. Then, boom, we go into the third house, Gemini house. I communicate. Now, 
you're communicating now. This is the uh, the third house represents to communicate. You're communicating uh, with with the environment. It, this don't necessarily have to do with people. This is the evolution of mankind when we're dealing with the houses. If you're a Gemini perso person, like sun sign or moon sign, the way you're going to act out this energy is communicating. Being real airy, being real light to, towards the situation, being real communicative, you know what I'm saying, talking to, that's, that's the how it's getting played out. But when it's dealing with the houses, this is the ages of the evolution. So every time, every time this, you might not be dealing with a, a person to person contact. It's just your communication with, just me, look, I just knocked it on the table. That's a, a form of communication. So this is the third house, learning communication, um, uh, language and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can almost say like the age of Gemini, but like the third house. That's basically the evolution of these energies and what these energies represent. So the third house is the house of Gemini. Your communication, how you communicate, how, how you uh, intellectually learning how to you utilize the wood that you see so now that you're here since the first house Aries second house you have you see all this wood boom third house now you're communicating with it to see what can you do with it because you know you're gonna have to use it okay fourth house fourth house is cancer which deals with the home and uh how you um yeah basically the home the uh the nurturing the um so once once you you communicate from the third house. You go into the fourth house. You're uh you're learning what you're gonna need. What you you just learned from the communication that you have with the exchanges you have with the wood and shit. What you're gonna need to do with it. You need to build you a home. So this is the uh this is when you starting to think about to put the pieces together because you know what's you, you you're nourishing. Uh, cancers represent the, uh, the 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 motherly affection energy. It, it deals with male or female, but when we when we talking about the energy. We're just talking about the energy. It's like a motherly energy, um, real, real comforting, uh, real homey type. Um, 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 and you're starting to develop the emotions about where you're at now, about your surroundings now. You, you're developing your emotions you're de uh, about where you're at and your situation. So now we go into the fifth house. The fifth house is Leo. Now the Leo is the, <coughs> is what you, the personality, the, uh, the, char the character, the, the way you're expressing how you just felt from the fourth house, from the house of cancer, now you're expressing it now. You're, you're, you're expressing it, so you this is your creativity. Th this is you actually actually putting the wood, you're starting to put it together now, you're starting to look at, you're starting to look at it and got a creative thought about how it can look, how, how the house can look now, you know what I'm saying? And this is, you're, you're adding personality to it, your own, your own, your own, uh, you know, stigma to it, you know what I'm saying, you get your own swag, you know what I'm saying, your own flight to it, you know what I'm saying, you're putting your own emphasis on it, you know what I'm saying, your, your own character onto it, you know what I'm saying, so then we move on to the sixth house, which is Virgo, now Virgo, this is, this is, this is the routine now, you're, you're, you, you had the vision, now the first house, Aries, you're here now, second house, the, you, the first house, I am, second house, I have. You got. You seen all the wood. The third house. You communicated with it to see what is. What it is, is it in the first place? To figure it out. What is it? You know what I'm saying. That's why Gemini's the intellectual. They they gonna read upon things to figure what the what's the what is it. You know what I'm saying. Then the fourth house. Uh, you understand. You understand what it is now. From the third house to the fourth house. Now you know what you need it for. So then the fifth house. You you had the uh you put the uh emphasis on it and uh, the personality to it to see how how it's gonna be and to know how you're gonna be in that environment and you uh, to express it now we're in the sixth house which is Virgo you're actually putting that uh, that creativity and all that together now you're building it now now you're building it you know what I'm saying which is the house of Virgo the sixth house you're building it now and then now you go into the uh, this is your routine the sixth house is your routine um, 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 yo 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 uh, you know and, and then this is why the Virgo energy when it's getting played out through Virgos Virgos are very concerned about uh, their health and, and stuff like that. That's because the energy of the evolution of it through mankind is like thinking about it. If we, if we put in the house together, now since we're in the sixth house now, we're actually building the house now from all the previous houses of learning, we would to do with it. Now we're in the house of Virgo is actually building it. The reason why they're concerned because you're putting in work. You're working. So you're experiencing, you're experiencing being a little tired a little bit. You're, you're experiencing 
you know, the the, def the defects of working now. You know what I'm saying? So this is why the energy get acted out through Virgos of being concerned with health and all that stuff like that because that's how the energy get played out if you're starting to build the house now. Now you're in the seventh house. Seventh house deals with relationship. Like I said, now in the Libras, when, it's getting, when that energy get acted out through sun signs and stuff like that and rising signs and all that, it's, it's not a lot of times it deals with people or, or things but but in this case when it's in the seventh house when it's dealing with the house that's why you can't equate that that's why you can't equate the house signs with the uh with the actual zodiac signs getting played out this is this this is, I'm giving you examples in the house in the houses the seventh house it deals with the relationship you have with anything it can deal with a, a person but just the relationship you have with what you're going so look you just left the sixth house of building it and now you you built you built a certain relationship you had with you building that house a certain love for it this is why it, that this house is ruled by venus also you you developed the love for it a love for that routine that you was just doing in the sixth house so you know what i'm saying so now you develop the relationship with it and a love for it okay boom now you go into the eighth house the eighth house deals with transformation deals with um, 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 death and rebirth like I said when it's in the houses it, it doesn't necessarily mean people or death or it just means situations circumstances say so, um, and this is the situation and circumstance house of the transformation life of death and, and anything so so this is the house of Scorpio the eighth house so you just built the house right you gotta, you had now. You gotta love and and from the and then from the seventh house, you de, from the Libra house, you develop develop the love, and and a relationship with it. Now, when you go into the eighth house, a storm comes down and knocks the house down. Now that's a transformative situation. You know what I'm saying? That's a motherfucking uh, life or death situation. And your life might not been in danger, but it, it's something that like a drastic change, an unexpected change that happened. A storm came. So that's the eighth house. So, but look, if the storm would have never came, you would have never knew that storms could actually come to knock a house down. So you would have never had that knowledge to to know what to do when a, how to build a house to be storm worthy. So next time you you could the, so that goes into the ninth house, which is the house of Sagittarius, your wisdom. Now look. The eighth house, you just went through that transformative situation, which is the house of Scorpio. A storm came and knocked it down. Okay, you you might feel so depressed. You like, damn, what the fuck? I don't have no house no more. The storm that came, whatever. Okay, you needed that experience though, because now we go into the ninth house, which is the house of Sagittarius. You're learning, how you're learning, your wisdom. So now you develop the wisdom from going through that experience to now you have the smart. You you're, you're wise enough to know that storms come now. So now. This is why Sagittarius, when the, the energy get played out through the zodiacs, through the, the constellations of the sun signs and stuff like that, this is why these people come across preachy sometimes. This is why people into these is why these people into religion and culture or whatever like that. Because when the energy when is when that energy was getting played out through the houses, which is the evolution of mankind, say, alright, my analogy, we back at the houses. you you this the energy, now you have the wisdom. From going through that transformative situation, you have the wisdom and the knowledge now to know that a storm could come. So now you can go to another foreign land who had it, or a desert, for, to a group of beings who haven't had storms yet, and you can tell them that you should do this with your house because the st uh, it's a storm that might come that could possibly knock your house down, and they might not know what you're talking about. But when that shit happens in their in their culture and that life, when that when they witness their first storm. Since this is the evolution of mankind, they could be like, "Dang, that person who who, ta who told us that must have been very smart." See the energy, but that energy get played out through sun signs or whatever like that. But this is how it how it equates in the house. So now you has the uh, that's the ninth house, the higher learning now house. Okay, now we go into the tenth house, which is you made. This is your status. Now you done made you since you had the knowledge of what. Storm's going to come. Now you know how to take it step by step going into the temp house. You know how to take it step by step into building a house that's worthy enough to not get knocked down from a storm again. So now you know how to, you know what to do from the, 
from what you just learned in the ninth house, and now you putting it into action, and now you develop a. This is like almost like your career, your 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 status. This is how people look at you. You know how to build a house now that's sturdy enough to uh, not get knocked down, and and you know how to take it step by step, because you learned the wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Now we in the tenth house. You doing it step by step. That is why this is the Capricorn house, the goat. Step by step, you and, and you and you develop a strong foundation now. This is why it get. This is why the energies of the Capricorns get played out as people who want to be bosses and stuff like that, because it equates from the energy that you're the person now who 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 know how to take it step by step and build a great stability of foundation for yourself to not get knocked down and to stay on top. So then we go into the eleventh house. The eleventh house, you're now communicating these ideas. You're communicating these ideas now. Now you're 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 networking these ideas. You're uh to through a group of people. You're you're letting everybody know now what 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 to do and what you can do. So this is why the eleventh house is Aquarius house, and um you're you're this is why this equate to the energy that they can see the future because and the way the evolution of mankind played out in the houses, now this being, this one being who then went through all this, is now in the 11th house, and he can go to a foreign land, and people will see him like he know the future, where in, in so many aspects, this is the evolution of mankind, the Aquarius, which they're highly intelligent now. It, they appear to be highly intelligent now. That's how the energy get played out. They appear to know the future. But this it just seemed like that because the energy, that's how the energy in the houses and through the evolution of mankind, that's how it got played out. You went through all the houses and now you have the intelligence and smarts to, to go and create an organization uh, uh, based upon everything that you did. This is what, look, I'm trying to, the, the houses, step by step, this is what the Illuminati, all that shit did. And we the Illuminati, anything, we don't give a fuck about that, but this is how they, step by step. So now that you have the intelligence to um to 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 build off this and let other people know what's going on and 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 build an organization around it, now now you go into the twelfth house, which is the house of Pisces, which is the uh the the uh, the unconscious the the um the uh the subconscious mind. Basically, this is how you feel about the whole situation. That's basically what it is. The 12th house is how you feel about the whole situation you just went through from the 1st house to the 11th house. And the 12th house is how you feel about the whole situation. This is why the energy get played out through Pisces, sun, sun, moon signs, and rising signs. This is how the energy get played out through Pisces. These people can transform into all the zodiacs. It's hard to even read somebody if they're Pisces because the, how they feel is when they're in situations, they can, when they're in groups, of, groups and stuff and dealing with relationships and people like that, they conform, they can conform or, or sometimes they feel like they need to or sometimes, or, or sometimes you can get the manipulative uh, Pisces or sometimes you can get the naive Pisces who feel like, but at the end of the day, the same energy resign in the same situation. They feel like they have to absorb the situation and be the situation in order to overcome the situation. So if they're around a person, if, if, you, if you know a Pisces that's always around a person who's robbing somebody all the motherfucking time, that Pisces is going to feel like they need to be that. And if and depending on if, if it's a manipulative one, they're going to do it ten times more than that person. Or if they're a naive one, they're going to do it just to make sure that that person don't look at them as a weak link or anything. You know what I'm saying? And and they do what they have to do. But Pisces could be in, they could evolve and swerve into any any zodiac can be anybody. You know what I'm saying? This is why they this is why they're intuitive and all that. So, but the reason why, because when we go to the houses, this is the houses of okay. Let's go straight back to one one the house of Aries. I'm here now. Taurus, second house. I have. You have all this wood now. Third house, uh, Gemini. You communicate it with the wood to figure out uh, actually what is it. Fourth house. Okay, it start it start feeling like home now. Now you need to nourish it. Fifth house. You uh, you you uh, develop a creative a creative way to put the house together. You had the thought and the creative way to put it together because you developed your personality from f having being emotionally attached from it from the fourth house to the fifth house. Now the sixth house. You actually start putting that 
into process. You start building the house, right? Okay, the seventh house. You develop a love and relationship for the house. The eighth house. The house gets knocked down from a storm. So it's time for you to, uh, you get knocked down and, uh, and you need to build yourself up and uh, and protect yourself. Make sure, so this is like, this is why Scorpios protect, uh, protect their feelings. You know what I'm saying? Protect their, um, they put up emotional blocks to protect themselves. Okay, then that's the, uh, the so the transformative, the house got knocked down. Then, okay, the ninth house. Now you have the wisdom that the house can possibly be knocked down, and you know you need to do something next time to prevent that. Okay, then you go into the tenth house, Capricorn. Then that's the, uh, the house where you actually put that into work again, which is the earth sign. You actually doing the physical. Notice how, notice how the, when you land into the fire sign houses, is, is the inspiration. Notice when you, uh, when, when you land into the earth signs, you actually, putting stuff together notice when you land to the earth the air signs of the uh the uh houses uh you, you're communicating in some type of way again no you know what i'm saying notice and notice when you're in the water and notice when i get to the water houses of the shit you having a feeling away about it you, you, you get you like you ride with me right it's crazy i just noticed that my, myself the way i'm just explaining it okay but look we in a temp house you actually putting this shit back together and, and building that that foundation from the wisdom you just learned and uh you know that to protect yourself or it don't happen again. Okay, then you go into the um, eleven house, which is Aquarius. You're now, uh, you're now, you're now sociably telling people about this again and telling people what to do now. You now develop the organization and, and communicated with enough people to let them know what you can do because you've seen it from a far side already. You know what I'm saying? Then Pisces is how you feel about the whole situation. Then you go back to Aries again with more power, and you go and you go back, and that's all, and that's the houses. In the, in, the, in the most basic way niggas can learn that shit and I, that's crazy though I, I gotta run this back again because that's very unique how motherfucking like and I didn't even try to do that it's just this when, when you're dealing with this how you know that this shit is real because shit's just be coincidences it's just crazy you know what I'm saying like how the fire sign houses was the inspiration. So that's the first. The fire sign houses is the first, the fifth, and the ninth. So when I, when, I, when I explained about them houses, the first house was, okay, I'm here now. That's basically like, okay, you're here now. You're, you, you're yourself, the develop, the initiator. You're starting to you become the, the uh, you, you're, you're, you're searching. You're searching for yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like a passion. Then the fifth house is the uh, Leo house. You, the personality. You develop the personality and the creativity. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you had the uh, then you had the ninth house. You develop the wisdom, the smarts. You know what I'm saying? And the fire signs is the fillers. You know what I'm saying? Then when then when I landed in the water signs, the water signs is the fourth house, the uh, the fourth house, the eighth house, and the twelfth house. When I went into these houses, the fourth house, I explained it like I explained it like the um, uh, you got you felt home and you got emotionally attached to where you was at. You know what I'm saying, and 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 you express like before you expressed it. This is how you felt about it. You know what I'm saying. So that's that was the fourth house. Then when I went into the uh, the eighth house, which was the Scorpio house, you went through a transformative state. It made you feel a deep way about that. It was a life changing situation when the house got knocked down. Then when I went into the twelfth house, is how you feel about the whole situation. Water sign is the other filler. The fire, the water sign is the filler. So the, the fire had the passion, and the water, the water houses had the emotion. It's like I